output of the first half this season for them. Here's Middleton against Allen on the wing. And rebounded by Struess. Cleveland shot over 53s in their previous game behind that pace right now, but they haven't really relied on the three ball or needed it with pain attacks like that by Allen. Well, I see that was just an easy pass for Mitchell, mainly because there's no defensive pressure on the pass, or where was the rotating man coming to the three man? Off the little miss, here comes Struess. Picked up by Beasley in transition. Nice pass by Allen. Layup inside by Struess. You know what I like there? You are anticipating the man coming out for the, an exchange. Instead, he faked and went back to it. It was beautiful. You'll be that is the 10th consecutive double double for Jared Allen and make by Lopez. And you know, it was interesting to hear Allen this morning at shoot around tell Monica McNutt and I that he enjoys you be getting those touches at the offensive end and getting a little bit more engaged as a facilitator here in the offense. And of course he can always call his own number. Nice, nice block, block though yeah. by Lopez, his second. His second and look he he's had so many nights of five, even a seven one night and a nine. Yeah. Allen up top and Allen wow. wow. Close the pass to be there. They've been hitting that ball ahead a lot tonight to great success. Beasley, the dribble handoff to Lillard. Dame Lillard, 4 of 15 in the ball game. And fouled by Isaac Okoro that. I think what a good trivia question right now is to a real fan. Name the five starters and where are they now? From the championship team? Yeah, from the championship that is team a good one. Toronto. Come on now. I'll have the answer at the end of the quarter for you, Coach. <laughs> that is a good question, though. Feels like a long time ago for the Raptors as Lopez right. gets the runner to go. And the lead at 29. Mitchell into the front court for the Cavs. See, during that first half, the fact that Milwaukee came in here and their starters went 8 for 32. That's 25 percent. That can't happen. And Lopez erases another shot at the rim out to Wade, though. This three is strong. Okoro inside. Count it! Isaac got by Leonard on how they defend as Lillard got loose for the layup. Sometimes there are no answers for elite offensive players like Dame Lillard, although he's struggling tonight. Well, it's very difficult in a half-court offense for Milwaukee to get a good look at the best. Mitchell out to Wade, and he strings a three. Well, this is impressive. If you have not seen Liosevic, the game tonight for the Golden State Warriors. Postponed. Not canceled. Oh, 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 oh. Allen inside. Yeah, could be a foul against... Mike Lopez, you got to call that. Phoenix and the challenge to the call on the floor was unsuccessful by the Bucks and head coach Adrian Griffin. So the foul stands on Lopez. Lillard to the lane. Sprays it out. One more to Middleton. This floater comes off, and here's Okoro coming back the other way. They've had a lot of success in transition. Okoro lost his balance. Oh, wait. Yeah, he hurt his ankle. Now a two-on-one at the other end. Lillard with the lay-in, and Isaac Okoro slow to get up. The fast break points after that basket are now 25 to 4 in Cleveland State. And Donovan Mitchell fouled. <laughs> I'll tell you, speaking of Cole, this Bucks offense oh. has been frigid tonight. Sure. Easily off the screen, back to Middleton. Good contest by Way, but it falls anyway. Now that's Middleton's first score of the game. Uh, he's now one for ten, and that's a shame because I enjoy watching him play. Not only is he a three-point shooter, mid-range, great passer, great team player, just having a horrible night. Oh, Mitchell battling underneath for the offensive rebound. Donovan oh. Mitchell on the glass too. He's up to 22. There's Lopez, an uncontested three. Beasley with the offensive rebound. Against Milwaukee. Right there. Cleveland 
with the win tonight, you, you talked about it at halftime. Absolutely. Maybe just two games back in the loss column. Two behind Milwaukee and, and your second and fourth leading scorers at 20 and 16 points. Sweet finish, a little bit of jelly by Damian Lillard. He's got 17. Well, when you watch it, Lillard and Mitchell, oh, beautiful pass. Great beautiful pass. pass. How about the back cut on that from the corner? But like I say, guys will keep moving as long as they know and have confidence that you will make the pass. You speak of moving, Ruby, this Cleveland offense has 24 assists. We're barely past the halfway point of the third. Spruce on the move, another one. This Bucks defense has met Forrest. See, the half-court defense by Cleveland has been outstanding all along. Very physical, beating you to the point, good rotations, challenging the shot. Very few easy looks from the left. Lopez on the drive and the finish. But the key to this game has been the transition. Blowout that Cleveland is putting on him. They're just beautiful kick-out passes and not missing a free hand. Looking very much like the all-star he was a couple of seasons ago. And the rebound. Well, I like how he's playing. He's playing with a ton of confidence, no doubt about it. You know, usually before he might pass up shots uh, once he came there. But now, he's looking for the shot. On cue. He's, he's doing drills out there, Hugh Brown. You know, it's nice. They're looking for him. See? The horse is working. Yeah. Right? He's working the boards. He's working covering everything. And when when we have an opportunity, we want to make sure that he gets his gets the ball. Lillard matched up against Spruce. And Spruce with the block. They're all over the place defensively. And then on the break, it's just beautiful to watch. Cleveland, that, that's one of the strengths of this Cavs team, right? Their length, especially when you have Mobley in the yes. equation. That's right. And Allen, of course, with the rebound there. Right. Perhaps built for the postseason more so than a year ago. Mitchell draws the foul on the play, and he'll go right back to the free throw line. Well, I like what the coaches said, and uh, Pickerstaff said to us, we didn't like how we played offensively in the playoffs. We, we proved that we just couldn't score, so we changed everything. We got rid of what we were doing. We changed everything, played an upbeat game. We're looking for the three ball, but our movement, you can see the spacing has been beautiful all night. Because once a guy changes direction, the ball's right there. Right.